So I told you guys I'd be doing a doing a special video for tonight. And you're getting it. This feels like the only this feel this only feels like the proper way to do this. Coyotes fans, you deserve a hug. You absolutely deserve a hug. Cuz that in the final game of the Arizona Coyotes existence is a 5 to 2 victory over the uh, over the Edmonton Oilers. Welcome back down into the den. Now, let's be real. Let's be real. For the for the Oilers this game didn't mean shit. Let's be real. For the Oilers this didn't mean anything. For the Coyotes this meant uh, this meant uh, the end of a 27 year uh, year long uh, struggle oh, to make it work in the desert and you know what you can't say that it failed and if you say that it failed you cannot say it was because of the location hockey works there hockey works there whether you like it or not, it works there. You know, because because with that with that franchise being there, particularly with their particularly with their first with the first with the first true star of that post relocation, who was there during the during the relocation from Winnipeg, Shane Doan. Without him. We would not have Austin Matthews today. Without, uh, we would not have Matthew Nyes. Yes. And we wouldn't, uh, and like, yes, that is, yes, that is one guy. In a market, in a, in a market that had untapped potential. Untapped potential. Because of the sins of one Truly, truly disgusting snake in the grass. I'm going to be honest. I did not think, uh, I thought that, uh, I'm not going to lie. I did not think, think that I could find a, an NHL owner uh, that was more contemptible in the modern age than Eugene Melnick. And Alex Morello might have uh, might have just uh, might have uh, might have just done that. Legitimately, the amount of seething hatred that I have for Alex Morello right now it is it is un it is un unbearable. I here's the thing, I'm not necessarily a Coyotes fan. I've always uh, they've always sort of been like a. Uh, like a team that intrigues me for no other reason than just the novelty of having a uh, of having uh, a cold weather sport played in in, in the fucking desert, uh, but at the same but at the same time I could find that sort of intrigue with the uh, with the Dallas Stars and the uh, with the Dallas Stars there's the there's the Florida Panthers the Tampa Bay Lightning in the L uh, the LA Kings the Ana and the Anaheim Ducks. I could find I could find that intrigue elsewhere with the Arizona Coyotes. It re it really did feel like there er, it really did feel like there er, it really did feel like a novelty, but it also felt like hmm, these guys these guys aren't really that great. But you know what? They're there and they're trying their best. They were all they were always a team that was dip. They were always a team um, in that no matter how bad they were, they were difficult to hate. They were difficult to hate. They always felt like the, the down on the luck loser. And you know what? In the past, in the past few, uh, over the past few years, it really felt like they were turning the corner. It really felt like they were turning the corner. And to be fair, because it, because it's going to be the same, uh, it's because it's going to be the same roster uh, in Salt Lake City where they're relocating. And after Morello, uh, after Morello. Uh, Oh, sells the team to Ryan Smith uh, for 1.2 billion dollars 
Morello is getting a billion of it. Two million. Uh, the other two, uh, two hundred mil is going to the. It's going to the rest of the owners for a relocation fee. Because it's going to be the because it's going to be the same roster. Or Salt Lake City, Salt Lake City, you guys are going to have you guys are going to have a have an all right team in to start. You know, Logan Cooley, Logan Cooley is is a star. Logan Cooley is going to be a stud in this league. Dylan Gunther. Er, with a uh, Dylan Gunther had a fantastic goal oh, tonight. Matthias Michel, uh, Matthias Michelli, uh, first of all, uh, first of all, oh, an insane pass from I think Sean Dursey on this one, and and, and Matthias Michelli just completely uh, burst past uh, Seven Bouchard. What a f uh, uh, remember when we thought he was gonna be uh, uh, the Norris winner? My God, fuck you, Edmonton, and. And, and just uh, Matthias Michelli, he just goes right to goal on Calvin Pickard and forehand, backhand, jockstrap, uh, just done. And this team, uh, and like this was the first time I ever actually, this is the first time I ever actually uh, sat down and watched a Coyotes East game for uh, for a reason other than the Bruins, uh, other than and uh, they were the team that the Bruins were playing. This team is fun. This team is fun. I don't care what you say. This team is fun. This team is fun. Yeah. But in any case. Yeah, but in any case. Anyways. Mor back to Morello. Oh. He actually... Uh, now, he's selling the team for 1.2 uh, billion. And, and he's getting a million of it. But, within the next five years, he might have to give back that uh, one billion dollars to the NHL. Why? As a uh, in order to start another franchise in Arizona. Am I happy that we're getting more hockey in Arizona? Yeah. Am I happy that Alex Morello uh, do you really do you even really need to need me to finish that question? Get get him out of here. Get him out of here. 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 This dude didn't even tell any of the players, any of any of uh, any of the athletes that he that he uh, that he employs. He did not tell any of them that this was uh, that this was happening. They had to fig they had to find it out through the media. Uh, and you know what happened? You know what happened earlier today? Uh, Coyotes management was set to have a uh, like a sit down meeting with the players uh, to tell them um, what's going on and what and what the direction of the team is. Ten minutes before the ten minutes before the meeting happened, they uh, they canceled it and rescheduled it to tomorrow. God, these fucking cowards! These cowards! And on top of that. Morello did not show up to the final. Uh, Morello did not show up to the final game of the season. And, and at the end of the uh, at the end of it, uh, every single uh, all the players came onto the ice. Pretty much all of the uh, pretty much everybody from the uh, from the organization and came out uh, came out onto the ice to uh, to take pic to take pictures to hug uh, to hug to share uh, to share. Uh, to just cry because uh, because they they should they should cry they should cry not because not because oh go cry go cry about it. no like legitimately the like legitimately uh, uh, the people the people who work uh, for this organization put their heart and soul into into trying to make it work and were duped by an and were duped by uh, some casino owner who uh, who couldn't remove his head from his own rectum. And the only reason the only reason why he's the only reason why he gets uh, why he's getting a second chance at all is because he is because he's is good buddies with Gary Bettman. That's it. That is literally it. And legitimately, and legitimately. Uh, what hurts more, what hurts the most, 
is learning about what happened with Sh- with Shane Doan's jersey. Eh, not jersey. Number of retirement. His banner. His his number of retirement banner. It was left at Gila R- River Arena. Eh. And you know what happened to it? They threw it in the garbage. And the only reason. The only reason. That that banner got. Eh, eh, is not. Eh, is not just in tatters right now is because a hot is because a, a dedicated coyotes fan found it eh, found it it took it back home with him restored it eh, a little bit eh, got some got some of the schmutz off of it and gave it back to Shane Doan tonight he gave it back to Shane Doan tonight and honestly that's eh, hearing hearing that that is what happened made me made me sick made me sick to hear because like I said Shane Doan he was the lifeblood of the uh, of the Arizona Coyotes for the longest time from uh, this man saw that this man was part of them um, in Winnipeg this man uh, was part of them when they were uh, called the Phoenix Coyotes this man was part of them when they rebranded the Arizona Coyotes this man has been with the team for uh, uh, for as long this man has been in the most uh, one of the biggest parts of this team um, um, to ever to ever have this Shane Doan is the best thing to ever happen to the Arizona Coyotes and they treated him like he was a uh, and uh, and they treated uh, and they treat his number uh, retirement like that it is disgusting disgusting how it disgusting and it shows nothing but contempt for the history of this team uh, for the history of this team for the uh, for the players of this team for the fans of this team it shows nothing but contempt and sne- and sneering hatred mm. And Shane and Shane Doan's kid, Josh, which, which but who, by the way, fantastic, fantastic start to a career uh, that kid is having. Dang, I cannot wait to see how he uh, how he develops. But Josh Doan, for what it's worth, for what it's worth, this is a uh, this is actually a, a pretty similar uh, trajectory that you know, that Josh is going on. He's <sighs> he's joining a team. He's joining a team. Um, pretty soon after they're relocating, and hopefully he and hope hopefully, if he ends up playing all, uh, playing out a uh, twenty year long career with the uh, with Saint, uh, I keep wanting to call them Saint Louis, Salt Lake City. If he wants to, he want if he wants to, uh, play uh, play out a twenty year career with Salt Lake City and become their in the face of their fran- uh, one of the faces of their franchise. Because honestly, because honestly, I love Logan Cooley. I love Matias Michelli. I love, uh, I love Dylan Gunther. I really do not want them to. Uh, there's a part of me that's, uh, that's like, get out of here while you can. Get out of here while you still can. But Josh Down, since it's the since it's the similar, uh, since this uh, similar career path, I, uh, there's a part of me that's like, you go ahead, you go right ahead and do it. And Josh, I hope they don't treat you the, the way they treated your dad. But, uh, but with Josh Doan, he had one of the most he had one of the most powerful quotes in recent NH- in recent sports history. Right before, or right before the game, the Coyotes are still Arizona's team for one more day. And that, I feel like that quote ultimately made me uh, put uh, put this whole situation into a brand new perspective for me. The entire uh, the entirety of Mall Arena uh, tonight, everybody was chanting "Salt Lake sucks, Salt Lake sucks, Salt Lake sucks," and they're totally right to do it. They're totally right to do it, because. Because you can you can laugh at the you can laugh at the team being 
I mean, you can laugh at this team being uh, being bad for so uh, for so long and uh, and not being, being able to uh, and not being able to ice a team um, that has a uh, not being able to ice a team um, um, that brings people to the state uh, that uh, brought people to Hilo River Arena. Uh, you're allowed to make fun of them for that, uh, and honestly, that and honestly. Uh, the Coyotes did deserve to uh, did deserve a better team than what they had, but it's uh, but the fan base the the fan base they poured their heart they still pour their heart and soul into this team, and uh, and it it feels like a slap in the face. It feels like a slap in the face to everything that hockey holds dear, camaraderie honor and just fuck Alex Morello. That's the that's the bottom line in this one. But uh, but with a 5-2 victory over uh, over Edmonton, like I said, this game didn't really mean anything for Edmonton. This game meant the world to the to the Arizona Coyotes. Lawson Kraus. Oh, he is going to he, Lawson Kraus deserves the fucking C on his uh, on his chest. Yes. He uh, everything that he does for this team um, is heart and soul. Heart and freaking soul. He's shown more passion for this team. Um, he's shown more uh, he's shown more love for this team. Than Alex Morello ever has. And Alex. I'll end it with this. You better thank the. You better thank your lucky stars. Uh, that you have a. Uh, that you have a good friend in Batman. And. Uh, uh, and all I can say. Is if you. Uh, is uh, is when uh, when and we're looking at a uh, is when we're looking at a uh, uh, at an Arizona Coyotes expansion franchise in two thousand uh, in two thousand twenty nine two thousand thirty. I really really hope that you sell it soon because you uh, because. Uh, because you might not think so, but the rest of us know so. That this, uh, that this fan base, and this city, deserves so much more than you uh, deserves so much more than you are going to give.